Good evening um, and welcome to the continuing almost OAP's guide to the Flipper Zero. Um, this is another hardware mod vid. This one is the GPS. Now, been a bit of an interesting one this from my perspective, but this is the standard sort of device that they're using. This is the Ultimate GPS Breakout Board by Adafruit. It's a fairly standard um, GPS unit, but it is quite expensive. It retails for about £30. Um, now, the reason is it has all these extra available pinouts, but we only need transmit and receive. So I thought, well, instead of sort of spending £30 on that, and let's be honest, there is very limited use for having a GPS on your Flipper Zero. And the reason that there's very limited use is because most people these days have a mobile phone. And on that mobile phone, you can get your longitude and latitude with ease through Google Maps or some GPS utility. So the ability to have GPS on the Flipper Zero is, frankly, from my perspective at least... A bit of a a bit of a pointless exercise if you have any uses for it please let me know in the comments um, so I, I really didn't want to spend a great deal of money on this device for no real reason so I did a bit of shopping and I found this this is a u-blocks GPS unit now the air the aerial antenna call it what you want is on a wire but there's no reason why you can't just a bit of double sided tape or solder the metal can or whatever so I thought okay let's let's give it a go so I rigged it up and it's straightforward uh, I believe it's yeah three three point three volts in um, ground and receive and transmit and obviously the sort of corresponding receive and transmit pins on the flipper zero so I, I set it up and I left it running as I, just as I'm doing now and I was getting nothing now where it says last fix just here that just said zero, zero, zero. What the hell's going on? So, eventually, the time popped up. And I checked the time, and the time was correct. But there were no satellites, no longitude, no latitude. And I began to wonder whether the U-Block 6 was actually compatible with the Flipper Zero. But it outputs the required data, uh, which is NEMA083, I think it is, um, and board rate of, of 9600. And this does. So I went online and I've spent a, an afternoon downloading some control software for this um, U Block software. And I've connected it up to the laptop and. Eventually, after about half an hour, I, I notice, you'll, you'll notice at the moment, that there is no indication of anything. There is no flashing lights. The only way that we know it's working is on the flipper zero. Okay. It's telling the time, but you've got, sorry, I know it's out of focus, but you've got the flashing LED to say that there's communication. And that was the only clue that I had that this was actually doing anything so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to move the flipper zero and I'm just going to just move the antenna a little bit further away and hopefully Actually, I might as well disconnect the flipper. 
shove it over here. Just like that. Now, I'm just going to pause the video and I'll come back when it's sort of got a signal. Right, um, a couple of minutes, but that is, do bear in mind, that is coming back from a warm start, not a cold start. So as I say, it took half an hour before. Now, as you can see, we've got a grand total of... Six satellites, and... You'll forgive me if I don't show you my longitude and latitude, but privacy is still a thing to me. Um, but there we go. So if you want to have a play with the GPS function on the Flipper Zero, don't spend 30 quid on the Adafruit breakout board. Spend three quid on a U-Blox from eBay um, and have a play that way. But there you go, so that's another one of the little hardware mods you can use for the Flipper Zero. I hope you've enjoyed this, thanks very much, and again a big thank you to all my past, present, and hopefully future subscribers. Take care, have a good Christmas.